Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary, Mother of God Parish. As we gather together to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith, the death and rising of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Let us begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for the most generous and bounteous forgiveness. We are sent to heal the sorrowful in heart, and so this morning we ask, Lord, have mercy. We came to give hope to sinners in darkness, and so this morning we ask, Christ, have mercy. Plead for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so this morning we ask, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by the equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Today's responsorial psalm is, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Hallelujah, 
You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. And blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above. The one who is sent to the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does not accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. He who does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God speaks the words of God, he does not ration this gift of the Spirit The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon them. The Gospel of the Lord. We gave you strict orders not to speak that name to the people of Israel. Yet you have filled all of Jerusalem with your message and you try to place his blood upon our shoulders. Peter speaks up and says, better for us to obey God than to obey men. You know, it was not enough for the Sanhedrin to have a false court and accuse Jesus of being contrary to the beliefs of the Israelites and the Roman people and had him put to death on a cross, on a tree. It wasn't bad enough for them to do that. Now, after the resurrection, they are turning on his disciples, Peter and the apostles, because they thought this would be the end. Once they crucified Jesus, that would be it. All of that rebel rousing that they presumed he would cause among the people did not appear. But they, they were afraid now his disciples would continue that, speaking his name, proclaiming him the Son of God bringing the power of the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of sins, taking away from them, the religious authorities of the day, their power, their authority, their righteousness to be the heads of the people in their religious formations. Better for us Peter says, to follow God. Then men. We know that eventually, Peter and the apostles, all except John, paid the ultimate price for their belief. They were all executed because of what they believe. They, they went to their deaths believing that Jesus is truly what he said he was, the Lamb of God, the Son of God, second person of the Blessed Trinity, the Father and the Holy Spirit. 
the savior of the world. And that message continues down through today. The teachings of the church, the apostolic church, the faith that was built upon the faith of the apostles who truly believed what Jesus said, that his words had authority, as we heard in the gospel today, that the testimony of Jesus' words has authority because he is truly God. And one statement there, I think it's, uh, it's good for us to ponder in the gospel, that Jesus says, whoever believes in the Son of God has eternal life. Present tense has eternal life, which causes us to ask ourselves, when does eternal life begin? When I die? When I close my eyes to this world? Is that when eternity begins, eternal life for me? Or does it begin even now? As we live our lives here and now on this earth, and place our faith and trust in our Lord and our Savior to bring his words into fruition and building up the mystical body of Christ is does eternal life begin even now as we accept him and embrace him into our lives? It's a good question to ask. And I'm sure the answer that is given in the scripture today is an answer with authority. For the one who believes in the Son of God has, even now, has the beginning of eternal life. And consequently, on the other side of the coin, those who reject God, reject his word, and reject his son, and reject the power and inspiration of the Holy Spirit, their lack of eternal life begins even now. With that darkness and emptiness within them that brings destruction to their souls, to their lives. Today, we bask in the sunlight of our risen Lord and his joy and his light formulates in us a tremendous happiness because we know where we are going. We know where we're headed to and in, with, and through Jesus Christ, you and I will have eternal life. That is not only a hope, but it is a promise from the Lord himself. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayer. Today's response is, risen Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will rededicate herself to living and proclaiming Christ's mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all nations will prioritize care for the poor and vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Harry Kirby, for whom this Mass is being offered. 
May they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our profession of faith as disciples of the Lord, let us pray that we will always obey his word and his teachings in our lives on our way to heaven. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, who assists us in that direction. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. of this water and wine may become to share in the divinity of Christ, he humbles himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have. This bread to offer which earth is given in human hands I've made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask that you receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Let us stand and by obeying God, pray that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be comforted to the mysteries of your kindly love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. For the right and just I do it in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this Easter season, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And when even in the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts, they sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we all acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, your devoted spouse, St. Peter, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Obeying the word of God, let us pray as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, Protect us from all distress, and as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. Let us obey God and sharing his peace with one another. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Son of God, the Lord of our salvation. Happy are we this morning to be called to the Supper of the Lamb.
Christ, our Lord, was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have a nice day, everyone.